question is on the verse um, 13 of Surah As-Saba. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وللسليمان الريح غضوها شهر ورواهها شهر واصلنا له ان القطر ومن الجن من يعمل بين يديه باذن ربه ومن يزغ منهم ان امرنا نزقه من عذاب السعير translation given here is and to solomon we subjected the wind its morning course was a month's journey and its evening course was a month's journey too. And we caused a fount of molten copper to flow for him. And of the jinn we uh, and, and of the jinn were some who worked under him by the command of his Lord. And we said that whoever of them turned away from our command, we would make him taste the punishment of the burning fire. Now the question is on the first part of the verse here, and it's uh, what is meant by uh, it's morning. Its morning course was a month's journey, and its evening course was a month's journey. <coughs> Sorry. In fact, in the area where the Holy Quran is talking about, the winds change their courses and directions from winter to summer. They kept blowing in one direction during one season and started blowing in the opposite direction the other season. And they were very fast, uh, fast winds. And if you consider the movement of the winds, comparing, comparing that with the man on foot, this expression is not at all surprising. A man on foot can walk for 30 days. He will not, uh, he will be able to cover or he may not be able to cover the distance that a wind covers during that period. You understand? Yes. So wind covers the distance in 30 days which the humans cannot on foot. This is a simple statement. The question should be, the question you should have asked, how could God make this wind serve the cause of Solomon? How? This was done because of sailboats. The sailboats which are driven with the power of wind was something on which Solomon's technologists had achieved a great mastery. So the sails were organized in a manner that they moved almost with the speed of wind from one part of the country to the other part of the country and carried heavy loads. So this is the true meaning. But unfortunately some medievalists or wishful thinkers, they translate this absolutely differently. They say Solomon traveled over winds on a carpet like the magic carpet and he used to, this is the meaning, it's absurd, the Holy Quran does not mean it at all.